It's 11 p.m. Do you know where your children are? In high definition, from the power of four and click on Detroit.com. Local 4 News at 11 starts right now. Two big stories tonight. The road to the White House stops in the Motor City. The Republican presidential candidates take the stage in a debate that drives Michigan into the spotlight. Plus, the countdown to Chrysler, a UAW strike just hours away if no deal is reached. And good evening. We begin with the Republican debate in Dearborn this afternoon that's got the nation talking. Country heard firsthand the problems that all of us here are living with every day. A sagging economy and as you just heard the potential for another UAW strike. Uh, we have you covered as Metro Detroiters sound off about the big debate. So let's start things off tonight at 11 with Steve Garagiola who's live in Dearborn with more on the face off. Steve? Well, since this was built as a debate on economics, I think all of us expected a very dry exchange, but actually it was pretty entertaining. Although Senator Fred Thompson may have struck a sour note with Michigan voters when he opened the debate by saying the economy is great. It's inexcusable that Michigan is undergoing a one-state recession. I think there are pockets in the economy, certainly, uh, that are having difficulty. I think there's certainly uh, those in Michigan that are having difficulty. Yeah. Governor Mitt Romney drew the first laugh with a snipe at Michigan's new tax plan. Down. Jennifer Granholm has made a big mistake by raising taxes. I was frankly a little nervous to, about being here tonight. I figured that she was going to put a tax on the debate before we got finished. <laughs> <laughs> so. On foreign policy, should the president have the power to initiate military action against Iran without Congress? Uh, in any close call, you should go to Congress, whether it's legally required or not because you're going to need the American people. I would at minimum, I would at minimum consult with the leaders of Congress because there may become a time where you need the approval of Congress. Uh, you sit down with your attorneys and tell you what you have to do, but obviously the President of the United States has to do what's in the best interest of the United States to protect us. This idea of going and talking to attorneys totally baffles me. Why don't we just open up the Constitution and read it? You're not allowed to go to war without a declaration of war. As expected, Mitt Romney and Rudy Giuliani exchanged jabs. I brought, I brought taxes down by 17%. Under him, taxes went up 11% per capita. I led. He lagged. It's a rebuttal here, final it, it's rebuttal. It's a nice line, but it's baloney. Mayor, you got to check your facts. No taxes, I, I did not increase taxes in Massachusetts. I lowered taxes. On the good that unions 